Why is ferritin the most important blood test your doctor almost never orders? That's what you're going to learn today as I talk about a patient who lowered her ferritin 52% in one month, improved a number of other factors, and raised her low iron at the same time. My name is Dr. Tom Refrano from the Natural Medicine Clinic in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and author of The Free Diet. And I've been blessed to have seen over 100,000 patient visits over the last 38 years many of whom have gut and thyroid issues, and abnormal ferritin is a common thing I see. And this patient was no exception. 41-year-old woman came in complaining of gut symptoms, gas, bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation, fatigue, brain fog, insomnia, as well as psoriasis. And she also had PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome, she had been infertile and required IVF in order to get pregnant. So the first thing I did was order some comprehensive lab testing, which includes a CBC, comprehensive metabolic panel, lipid panel, and TSH. So this is what your doctor typically orders. And what you also want to check are the following. For instance, in this patient, she had high ferritin levels, low iron and saturation high inflammation, high GGT, which is a liver enzyme, above, above optimal LDH, representing cellular damage, above optimal insulin, uric acid, those are, these are all markers of insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, below optimal thyroid function, below optimal DHEA, which is adrenal function. She also had high testosterone, which is what causes PCOS, and deficiencies in vitamin D. B12. So all of this would be missed if you just get this simple basic test that your doctor orders. Now, I like to also look at further deficiencies, toxins, infections, hormonal imbalance, and food reactions. So in her case, she also had zinc deficiency, which is so important for skin health. She had infections. She had yeast and bacterial overgrowth in her intestines. She had food reactions. She had a gluten sensitivity and leaky gut, and she had food allergies to wheat, dairy, and some other foods. And when it comes to skin conditions like psoriasis, eczema, we often, often find that it's related to the gut in terms of gut infections and allergies and sensitivities. In particular, gluten is a big one. So I put her on an anti-inflammatory diet and supplements, which I'll go over in a few minutes, and the end result was she came in after a month with significant improvement in her digestive symptoms, her energy levels, her insomnia had cleared up, her skin was improving, her memory and concentration, and her blood pressure dropped 21 points to normal. At the one month point, the following lab markers improved. Her white blood count, liver enzymes, and CRP, inflammatory marker, all dropped 50% or more to normal. Uric acid decreased. Her cholesterol, LDL, and triglycerides dropped 50 to 61 points to normal. Her vitamin D improved 20 points. And her high testosterone, which is a cause for PCOS, dropped from 70 down to six in one month. And her calcium oxalate crystals cleared up in her urine. As far as her ferritin, so she was at 316 and that dropped 52% to 151. At the same time, her low iron and low iron saturation improved to normal. So many people assume that high ferritin means high iron and they run out and donate blood. Well, that is not the most common cause of high ferritin. So there are seven causes of high ferritin. And the reason why it's so important to check your ferritin levels is because it can give you very early signs on how some, that something is very off in, inside your body. So for instance, the seven main causes of high ferritin, I call it La Five Eyes. Liver disease, alcohol excess, insulin resistance, inflammation, infection, illness, and iron overload. In her case, she had liver dysfunction, she had insulin resistance and inflammation. She did not have iron overload. She had low iron. She did have, however, liver dysfunction, insulin resistance, and inflammation. So 
by putting her on an anti-inflammatory diet, healing her gut, that's how we were able to drop her ferritin 52% and get all these other results. The diet that I gave her, I call the free diet. It's a diet I came up with years ago when I was figuring out how to heal my own autoimmune thyroid Hashimoto's condition, rheumatoid arthritis, IBS, fatigue, and skin issues. So I had a gluten sensitivity. A gluten-free diet did not work. So I came up with the free diet, which is free of not only gluten, but gluten grains, sugar, yeast, dairy, eggs, soy legumes, nightshades, processed foods, all those foods most commonly responsible for inflammation, gut, thyroid, and other chronic health issues. So with that, I was able to get better and since then help many other patients with this. And at the end of this video, I'll put another video that explains the diet in more detail. And if you'd like a copy of the free diet phase one feed chart, we will send that to you. There's a link below. And besides the diet, I put her on the following supplements, what I call the functional five, which is multi fish oil, vitamin D with K, magnesium, and probiotic. And I also gave her zinc, vitamin C with bioflavonoids, methylfolate, B12, liver support, curcumin, yeast defeat, and other gut supporting nutrients. And that's how she was able to make such dramatic improvement in one month's time. And not only her symptoms, but also her ferritin, liver enzymes, cholesterol, triglycerides, inflammation, and many other factors. And that's the thing. If you get the proper testing to find out your root causes and are provided the right solutions, I believe almost anyone can get better. So thanks for joining me today. I'll put a link below for the free diet phase one food chart. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time.